Well, as you know, uh, the country really focused on law and order, on crime, as the result of the tragic death of a 34-year-old dairy worker in Sandringham. Uh, three men in custody, one of them charged with murder. Uh, perhaps that's a good result for now. Um, but the government has responded by announcing millions for a fog cannon scheme for retailers who don't have to have been the victims of crime or robbery now to qualify for a government subsidiser or a government paid fog cannon. Uh, the Prime Minister claiming there is a supply issue, some people taking issue with that. Is this enough? Does this make the people who work in the most often used um, retail spaces in our country, the corner store, the dairy, the superette, does it make them feel safer? We were joined again now by Sonny Karshal, he's the chair of the Dairy Owners Association, who held protest um, action this week, and he represents many of the people living in fear at present. Sonny, welcome back to the platform. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Uh, Sonny, are Fog Cannon's going to do it for your members? Are they enough? Uh, look, we have heard the announcement, uh, and we are not holding our breath at this stage. Um, it's, it's a good announcement. It's good to hear, but we would like to see the practicality, you know, because we have had that experience uh, five months ago when $6 million fund was announced, and until today, it has not been distributed. Uh, it has been, the model has been shambles. So uh, now we would like to see how this is going to be commissioned and how soon the support can reach uh, the people who really need it. That's one. And two is we also wonder, and then sometimes, you know, you feel uh, really annoyed that why somebody had to die to get a government attention? Why do we have to protest uh, or do the these protests around the country to get uh, government's attention. This could have been done long time back. We have been telling the government from long time, uh, you know, something need to be done, need to be urgent, done urgently. We even suggested what need to be done. So I sometimes I feel uh, loss of words. What do we do? So you still feel at this stage from the government, from the Prime Minister, all you've got are words? That's correct. And secondly, uh, it doesn't solve the problem. We were expecting an announcement that really addresses the issue. So just offering uh, that, you know, now you don't have to be ram-rated uh, to get this fund, it's, that means the government is not owning that one. Mm. You know... The, they need to own it, and irrespective if it is a national government or labor government, the government of the day is responsible. And this is uh, our fundamental right as citizens, as communities, to be safer in the country. Mm. Are fog cannons themselves, let's look at the specific, a particularly good deterrent, do you think? What is the experience, to your understanding, of how effective they are? Uh, they are they are one of the deterrent, but not the silver bullet. You know, the the biggest thing is we need to stop those offenders uh, even before they could plan. You know, we need to put a, a, a fence up on the cliff, not yeah. not with the uh, yeah, ambulance. Yeah, the fence at the top of the cliff rather than the ambulance at the bottom. I think that that's a good point. Yeah, ha so have, that's where yeah you've been and your members have been i imagine going through quite a bit lately you had the protest uh where you, a lot of you closed your shops for an hour and a half earlier this week is the emotion starting to subside or is this not going away this feeling of well i'd have to say anger and fear uh, sadly uh, looking at the the level of tragedy that we have the emotions are running very high there's a lot of uh, anger right now in the in the community the community is in the morning and also the businesses across new zealand are asking questions why why wasn't it preventable i mean why wasn't it prevented and um, and that is now uh, going into another uh, uh, protest march which is building up and I'm getting a lot of uh, pressure. When's from, that, I mean, when's that planned for? It's, it's going to be on Sunday, 
uh, in the afternoon uh, in Auckland. And uh, then the other cities are also probably following up. And we've already got a confirmation from Christchurch also. So let's see how it turns up. So we are working on that one. Okay. Because and what are, these pro- what, are these, yeah, what are these protests, protests calling for? What more action? We, we, we need, the, look, we, uh, right now we need, uh, first of all, the government to admit that there is a problem. There is a mm. crime emergency and we need more police, more police uh, uh, patrolling. Uh, you know, it's not a rocket science to understand more police, more enforcement, more deterrent. Yeah. Uh, and, and then uh, the, um, there need to be, you, government need to drop the soft uh, approach to crime. The catch and release policy need to stop. Uh, you know, being, and also there's so many other things that need to be done. Yeah, well, I see, I has- see, I read this morning, police are considering abandoning the no pursuit policy and getting back to chasing criminals. That's got to please you a bit. Yeah, there, there's, there's, one, uh, there's one thing. Uh, uh, but uh, what also you need more deterrent, more visible police. Uh, in fact, we need to go back to the community policing model. Mm-hmm. You remember, uh, in the last, uh, uh, last five or six years, or maybe ten years, there have been a number of police stations have been closed across the nation. Those need to be reopened. And, uh, and also, uh, to, the, to the police minister, we have given another proposal, is the parking wardens. They can be reused uh, in community patrolling, as it is being done in the UK. Okay, those are all constructive ideas. Sonny, have you had a chance to put these ideas... It, it, it to the police or to the, or to the government? Have you been asked? I mean, has Chris yes. Hipkins asked for these ideas? No, we, we ourselves, we gave these ideas to him. We put eight-point uh, uh, manifesto handed over That's to right. him six yeah. weeks ago. And this is uh, in that manifesto. But unfortunately, six weeks on, we haven't had uh, a courtesy of a reply Have you yet. still not got a meeting with Chris Hipkins? No, we got the meeting. We we handed over this manifesto oh, yeah, to okay. him. We discussed, he hasn't asked but you he back. Has not responded. S- since the death of back. since the death of Mr. the murder of Mr. Patel, he hasn't asked you or contacted you or reached out to you. Not yet. I find that absolutely unbelievable, Sonny. I'm I'm sorry. I think your group in particular would be the one group that he should be meeting with. I'm amazed he hasn't done that. I'm just I'm That's flabbergasted, to be honest. Yeah. All right, Sonny, good luck. Um, good luck for Sunday afternoon uh, in Auckland. And I thank you again for joining us. It's a story that shouldn't go away until the problem's fixed. And I thank you very much indeed for your efforts in that regard. Thank you, Sean. Cheers. Sonny Carshall, the chair of the Dairy Owners Association. Can you believe that? Since Mr Patel's tragic death, the dairy owners haven't been invited to a meeting. He hasn't reached out. Hipkins hasn't, or the Prime Minister hasn't reached out to them. That's frickin' crazy. They're the very people you should be talking to.